So pink diamonds and their totally inaccessible price tag may mean that you've entirely given up on pink gemstones. I know. Hi, I'm Eva and today I'd love to talk to you about, very briefly, five pink gemstones that are a fabulous alternative to the pink diamond if you happen to be looking for a pink precious piece. Now, why is it that um, these pink alternatives make such pink great alternatives? There are three reasons for that. In the first place, they are more accessible than a pink diamond. And with that, I'm not saying that they're that easy to get because also these five pink gems happen to be quite special. But in any case, they'll be a tad bit easier to get your hands on than a pink diamond. Number two, they're more affordable than a pink diamond, as I said before. And number three, very interesting, these five pink gemstones, actually four of them, one is not um, in, among that enumeration, but four of the five come in a pink color that can be way more deep and more vibrant, more neon than a pink diamond will ever be. Pink diamonds namely tend to be very pale sometimes even as pale as the pink jumper I'm wearing right now. So to me, that's actually not very interesting. So if you're looking for a pink gem alternative that is more vibrant in color, then you really should look out for this list of gemstone alternatives. Another fun fact before I dive in is that it was only around the year 2000 that there was a massive surge in bright pink gems popularity. And why was that? It was because of the celebrities who gifted precious pink diamond gifts and these pink diamonds were spotted on red carpets around the world. And that is why the price of other pink gemstones also went on the rise. Now, of course, um, unfortunately, the price tag for most of us is super inaccessible of these pink diamonds. So what are these pink gems that you should keep in mind when you're looking for a pink precious piece yourself? Number one, the pink sapphire. An absolutely beautiful, fine quality gemstone. And the most important thing is its hardness, which comes quite close to that of a diamond, or at least is in the upper range of hardness of gemstones meaning this stone will not scratch very quickly. On top of that, pink sapphire comes in pink hues that are absolutely out of this world. It can be as neon as my nails. And uh, they can be bubblegum neon pink, but also equally pastel pink. So it depends on what you're looking for. In addition to that, pink sapphires happen to be included often. So they have crystals or other things inside the stone. You may think that that is a disadvantage, but actually what it does is that it makes the gemstone softer in appearance. So if you happen to like that, then pink sapphire is the one for you. Number two is the pink spinel. Now this is a gemstone that I happen to be wearing, so I can quickly show it to you. Can you see the ring that I'm wearing here on my middle finger? It's in the shape of a cross. I hope you can see, lighting is always a bit tricky with color gems. And it is especially the side stones that are a gorgeous neon bright pink. And this is a pink spinel. Very rare, less rare than a pink diamond, yes, but also not that easily to find, but absolutely stunning. So like a pink sapphire, pink spinel can also come in bubblegum neon hues, and also in lighter pastel pinks. A big difference with the pink sapphire, however, is that it tends to be colder in beauty. So if you like the beauty in diamonds, for instance, that you have grown used to that, which is slightly cold, then you will also love a pink spinel because it's slightly cold in appearance as well. The third gemstone that I wanted to share with you is the pink tourmaline. I'm not wearing it as a ring, but I am wearing it here in my ear. You see the bottom one. It is also an incredible neon pink, bubblegum pink. And tourmaline is a great gemstone that actually exists in the most colors available in nature, more than any other gemstone. 
Uh, so it also happens to have this incredibly bright pink hue available in its menu. Um, the fourth gemstone that I wanted to share with you is the pink garnet. I'm also wearing this. It is here on my ring finger. As you can see, I am wearing it in the shape of a trillion ring. And this pink is very different from the bubble gum that you see next to it. Now this is more a typical garnet pink color. It's a bit Bordeaux, wine-like, it's a bit darker, but also beautiful. Again, it happens um, to depend on what you like, of course, and what you're looking for. The benefits of garnet uh, are that it can be um, incredibly sparkly. It happens to have a high brilliance and luster, so it really makes for a great ring, and also has a good hardness, so it won't scratch that easily either. And also this pink is deep and this stone does not come in light pink varieties. So just that you know. The last fifth pink gem that I wanted to share with you is this humongous rock that I'm wearing here on my middle finger. Uh, as you can see, this is a very different pink hue. It is very light in appearance and Morganite will always be this light pink. So this stone, does not come, unlike the previous four that I mentioned, in darker neon or bubblegum pink. No, this one only comes in very light shades, as you can see here. It can be peachy, it can go towards a salmon color, but never bright pink. Morganite can be transparent as this stone, it's a beautiful piece, and because of that, it can sparkle quite well, as you can see in this piece as well. So those were um, the five stones I wanted to share briefly with you today and I hope these tips have helped you and that you'll keep them in mind if you're looking for another beautiful alternative to a pink diamond that happens to be more affordable, more intense in pink color and also more accessible. That was it for now and I wish you a wonderful weekend. Till next time, bye bye.